Hello, welcome to Culture Code. Today we're going to be going in there to meet with the director of the first private museum in Nigeria. This is the Yemisi Shilon Museum of Art in the Pan-Atlantic University in Ibejuleki. We will be meeting with the director, Jess Kaseyote, who is also the architect of, architect of this building. He will be telling us about the ambition of the museum and what they have in store for the 19th of October in a month's time. Come with me. So, how did it all start, Jess? This years we were talking with uh, several collectors about the possibility of setting up a museum at the university. And eventually, a few years back, we agreed with uh, Prince Shilon and he generously donated or agreed to donate over 1,000 works from his huge collection. Then he also agreed to, to provide money for the building and then we started planning what type of museum, what do we want to achieve, why a museum, what is the model we are going to follow, how are museums in universities. So it took us quite a, a long time to define. This is not a museum whose primary objective is to attract visitors. This is not a museum like a national museum that has a primary mission of preserving, documenting, displaying a national heritage. The, the focus of this museum is, is, is narrow. We want to use this as a, as a resource, as a tool to teach. So how do the students, for instance, you have engineering students here, you have um, students of communication, economics, how does a museum teach them? The, the museum is here not only to teach about art, because not everybody is interested is to teach with art and through art. So now you're talking about the audience-centered, um, of course, the engagement with the works. Does that explain the design itself? When, um, Did you have that in mind? When thinking about the physical structure that will serve that educational idea. So first, we have to define what type of museum we want. Exactly. Why do we want a museum? What do we want to achieve with a museum? Now, so far I haven't mentioned uh, much Penicillin. Yes. This is not my idea, or mm. it's not just the Vice Chancellor's idea. Here, Penicillin plays a, is a prominent role in this. What, why did he decide to bring his collection out? He wants to offer a, a service to society by bringing his words to society. Now, this links very well with the educational mission of the university. So, so probably a convergence of interest, you could say, with just you there in the middle, making it happen. I wanted a space that disappears. It's not like some of the, the contemporary museums where the architecture is, in some cases, more important than the artworks. I, I wanted the, the architecture to serve the educational purpose. So this is an object center display. So by leaving the walls a little bit dark in darkness and then highlighting the object, then the object glows, glows. In, in light. Gets the and attention. Then, then is the focus. So the architecture has to serve that purpose. Because I know you've always mentioned when you talked about it that if you could get, for instance, a busload of students every day here just to come and engage with the work. On, on this, we are already planning a program. We are going to call it 6,000 Youth. We aim at having school children 200 days a year, coming here in the morning, spending the whole day with us so we can have an impact, we can teach them, not, not simply coming and, and seeing Six. and going but engaging them. So we will produce some artworks with them, we will have some brief lectures, we will show them, 
we will quiz them, we will entertain them, we will feed them so they are happy, and then we will take them back to school in the Looking forward to the opening on the on October 19th. What what are your thoughts? We are not going to call it opening. We want to show them something. And for us, the impact on people is more important than the numbers. I think it's a great step in the right direction. You have someone's personal collection being made, made available for the public, which is rare, and I think it's probably the first time it's happening. And hopefully this will be um, a catalyst for more such cooperations between institutions and individuals, especially collectors in Nigeria.